Hello everyone, welcome back. In this lecture video, we are going to discuss one more important circuit which is used to change the face. If uh, this is the circuit diagram, if you look at it, there is one drain resistance, let's say R, and another source resistance which is also equal to the same value as R. And for simplicity, we will assume that the RO, the drain to source resistance of this MOS is infinite or the channel length factor lambda is zero. So under this condition, if I look what is the resistance looking downward into the drain of this MOS, we know that it is approximately the intrinsic gain of the MOSFET which is GMRO into the source resistance which is R. Now because RO is infinite, we can treat uh, this resistance looking downward as infinite. And the resistance looking upward is simply this resistance R. So under this condition, let us find out the voltage V1 at the drain and the voltage V2 at the source. And we will build a relation between these two. Okay, now let's uh, proceed forward and see how we can analyze this circuit okay now first step is to find out what is the voltage gain from the gate where the input v in is applied to the drain of the circuit if you look at this circuit which i have highlighted here it is a simple common source amplifier with source resistance that is this resistance and we already know what is the gm calculation for this configuration the GM because it is in a source degeneration format it is simply GM by 1 plus GM into RS where RS is the resistance connected at the source in our case it is simply R and what is the total R out the R out is the parallel combination of resistance looking upward in here which is R in parallel with the resistance looking downward which is infinite so the R out is R parallel infinite Okay. so it is purely R so this is our output resistance now for a common source amplifier with the source degeneration given V in input we can calculate the output uh, V1 as the total GM into total R that is minus because it is common source amplifier GM is GM by 1 plus GM R into R into the input V in okay so this is how the expression comes about now let us further simplify it and see some interesting results now this is where we have arrived now if we assume that the gm into r this factor is very very large compared to one okay if it is very high then you can ignore this one okay so if i ignore this one what will happen is the gm and gm would cancel off and even this r and r would also cancel so what is left in the numerator is simply minus v in so v1 is approximately minus of v in okay so if i apply any small signal voltage v in here and if i look at the drain you will get the same v in but phase shifted by 180 degrees okay under this assumption now what will be the voltage v2 we do not have to calculate exclusively what is the voltage v2 because if you look at the circuit whatever current is flowing here into this resistance r okay the same res current will flow to through this resistance also it means the voltage drop across this resistor which is v1 itself correct is equal to the voltage drop across this r which is v2 it means the in magnitude the v1 and v2 are equal because the voltage drop across the resistance is same so what changes from here to here is only the phase and the phase shifts by 180 degree because if you look at the voltage v2 it is measured from this point to ground and the current direction is also in the same direction so the voltage drop across this will be positive but if you look at the voltage drop across this uh, v1 if you look at the current direction okay if you look at the how v1 is measured v1 is must be measured from this node to the ground going upward but the current is in opposite direction 
so it will be minus v1 uh, to keep the thing simple we can uh, to if you analyze the circuit the voltage drop across uh, the v2 is exactly phase shifted by 180 degree compared to v1 because the currents are same but opposite direction and the resistance value is same at the source it is r and even at the drain it is r it means that if i go from drain to source i get the same voltage small signal voltage but phase shifted by 180 degree so this gives a very interesting result if i have a, such a circuit where the drain resistance and source resistance both are equal and if ro is comparatively very very high then i can expect that a small signal v in change will appear as an inverted version here and it will apply as the same without any inversion it will apply uh, without any inversion the v in, v in will come here ac across v2 so at v2 we simply get v in the voltage from here to here is simply v in and the voltage from uh, the gate to the source is minus v in so we get two values of v in which are phase shifted now if you analyze the circuit uh, we can go on changing the values of r and uh, this value of r and get many some uh, interesting circuits and i would say this circuit is very much uh, useful let's say if you have a circuit where which needs two phase shifted inputs to be fed into it we can use this circuit to create phase shifted uh, uh, signals and uh, and apply it to the next stage uh, so that's about it meet you in the next lecture videos thank you